All right, here is what we're gonna do. It seems to be pretty obvious that 21 has been picked up a lot the last month. It seems like no one has had a good thing to say about her except for Sonic Fox, who got, you know, clowned on for playing 21 for quite a while. Not even for playing 21, for saying 21 was the best character in the game. To be fair, even now that might be a stretch, but uh, I'm thinking it's less of a stretch than I used to think so. Like that character is bonkers. This character, 21, she is a problem. And lately it feels like everyone has realized it. Kill Sage has been playing 21. Super Noon has been playing 21. Nitro, who won the East Coast, has started playing 21. Jonathan Tenne, who won the West Coast, has started playing 21. Or at least Nitro was talking about picking, him up, picking her up, maybe. I'm not super sure, but he's been talking about it. Everyone's kind of just realized that this character is nuts all at once. And I want to go through the reasons why everyone's kind of realizing it now. And what those reasons are. I'm gonna use Broly actually as kind of a counterpoint because Z Broly is who we think of right now when we think of a top tier anchor. We think of Z Broly. What we want out of an anchor, we, we want them to be Z Broly, <laughs> but what we want out of an anchor specifically is a character that can play Dragon Ball on their own. All that really means is you need to be able to do a handful of things just competently. I'm not saying you have to be able to be the best team in the game with a singular character, but you have to be able to actually play the game with a single character, even if it's just a little bit. You need to be able to play a little bit of every aspect of the game that you think is important. And most people, when they really think about it, would agree that there's a handful of things you need. First, you need to have competent neutral. You don't need to have super good neutral. You just need to have competent neutral. You need a way to challenge people with a key blast or a beam or some tool that's really big where if you know where they're going to be, you can lock them down. You need some way to make super dash feel bad. So if you, of course, have a tool like now Piccolo has this where you can convert super dash there we go some way of getting a slide knockdown some way of getting corner carry some way of extending off super dash which is a tool you kind of have to use you want a way to you know punish things that other people are doing so that could include punishing other people's super dashes which you know broly is super good at this you literally just react with your command grab or you can jab it too he's got an air level three so having tools to deal with things you know you have to deal with, the common situations, and be able to get your way in there is super important. Next, you need to have some form of offense. You need some way, some competent amount of offense. You don't need it to be the best offense in the game. You don't literally need a 50-50 on a command grab, but having some way of pressuring the opponent and actually making them feel like they have to take a risk is important. There are some top tier characters that can't even do that. You could be playing Bardock or maybe base Vegeta, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of top tier characters, it feels like, that when they don't have assists, they can't mix you up. But with assists, they're ridiculous, right? They, they win neutral, they body you, they get 50-50s when they get in, but you take away all their assists and they're no longer really that scary once they make you block, assuming you can react competently. But having, you know, obviously a command grab helps a lot. Having a good cross up helps a lot. So that means you can do same size super dash, which means you can get them thinking about that. You can 6M, you can dragon rush, you can, command grab, whatever. These are things that make your offense scary when you don't have assists. And then you also need to have some way of actually keeping your turn when you do good things. So if you win neutral and you get that hit or you open them up and you get that hit, you need to have some consistent momentum. In Broly's case, now, he didn't used to have this, but now if he can combo you in the corner, he just gets a side knockdown. In Broly's case, his level three is super good and everywhere gives him good mix up because he's got a command grab and dragon rush and left right and all that stuff even if the knockdown wasn't amazing it'd still be good just because he has a command grab right an unreactable command grab at that but he has other ones if the other person isn't reacting super well so i think we can all agree broly is a competent character he can play the game all on his own and win games potentially all on his own 21 does all of those things too and that's why she's actually a good anchor there's very few characters that can play the whole game on their own that's basically the main point if you're wondering why people can play 21 as an anchor that's why let's just kind of look at the at the roster here so we got broly broly obviously can play neutral well has good key blasts has armor has a command grab checks all the boxes i think janemba checks all the boxes has an unreactable or very hard to react to light command grab and pretty good neutral tracking key blast he's got counters to counter things other key people are doing air level three good normals good special tools that convert he can do it even a character like Android 16, I think is actually a good anchor. His assist just sucks, so you don't want to put him in that spot. I understand that. And his meter gain isn't super high, but when you're putting him in that spot, he's he's really good. I think Piccolo, maybe, probably not. Um, his level three Oki is actually getting so good that maybe you want to put him in that spot. Maybe Super Broly. 
I don't like his assist that much. Everyone's kind of got different preferences. Base Goku is probably the best example besides for Z Broly. Again, plays neutral really well. He can point and click anywhere on the screen he wants to connect. His EX shoulder wins a lot of neutral situations and scrambles. His momentum is pretty good if he's got Kaioken level. Was it times 20 when he's by himself? And his command grab is unreactable. I mean, you could, in theory, it's 20 frames. In theory, you can react to it, but like you don't react to it. No one reacts to it. If you react to it, you're a liar. But 21, first things first. I, I mentioned this in a video like last week, but I can't hide the fact that I've had 21 for a long time now. I've been putting the 21 icon like on the screen when we go to character select in post so that people don't realize that I have her at this point, but I can't hide it anymore. <laughs> All right, so first things first, probably the biggest thing, and this is something that only she does in the whole game, or, or she, really no one else does as well as her. Actually, let's say she's in the top five of this particular thing in the entire game, this one particular small thing she can do, and that is having amazing level three Oki. So her grounded level three, and she's got two of them, but this is the one you swap into when you DHC. Her grounded level three is nuts. This, you literally get left right mix up off this. That is so ambiguous. You might as well just say it's a 50 50. And you have every other option available to you. So you can Dragon Rush, you can cross up really quick, you can just stagger and kill time. And the level three gets stocks. And if you don't know what the stocks do, don't worry about it because here's something she can do regardless of what stocks she has. She gets different ones for every character that she uh, takes from. But if she has the meter, and then uh, this move is nuts. EX Orb, EX Beam, whatever you want to call it. This move is insane. Gets a full combo anywhere on the screen if it hits. If you're even like relatively close to the other person, like this is relatively close. I think we can combo from this. Though I think we might have to like dash super jump depending on... Yeah, if you really don't know how to like worry about it, all you really got to do is just super dash and that'll always work. On block, it is incredibly plus with all these stocks. It is, let's turn on our info display settings so we can check. Plus 20, point blank, plus 20. And you can use this to be reflect proof if you're worried about that. You can literally just like same side JH and do this and it combos on hit. And if they reflect you away, it locks them down. And if they reflect into hard tag, it punishes the hard tag. It's absolutely crazy. So she gets stocks. She gets ambiguous, basically 50-50 left-right mix-up. All she's got to do is, after the level 3, she holds up. Depending on how she times the air dash, it'll go over or it'll stay same side. And it's, it's really, really hard to tell if the 21 player actually labs it right. So essentially, this is the big thing. It's a big thing. It's actually not even all of it. And all of her steals are insane too. We're going to talk about that maybe towards the end. But that's cross up same side would be you know just like a little bit sooner there's a lot of times where i try to cross up and i go same side so i can basically 50 50 myself and the best kind of mix-ups are when you don't know what side you're going to be on i think that one was same side until it hit then afterwards i was on the other side um, but you can also do fun stuff like super jump float for like cross ups or you could super jump fast fall for like a faster low if you have stocks available you get to do really fun stuff like Almost all the secondary ones are really cool. You can do same side solar flare if you have someone who actually does consistently react to the cross up, which is super fast, by the way. This cross up is insanely quick. But if someone can deal with it, you can, if you have solar flare, which you might because you get solar flare from Ultra and Goku, from pretty much all the, most of the Saiyans, not all of them. You get it from Roshi. All these characters are really common right now. Level three Oki is insane. And you can do this from most characters in the game. You can just swap to her, right? If your character at this point or mid doesn't have super good Oki, you can just swap to her when you have three bars. The only difference is in the corner, you won't get a super good mix up. So you wanna either side switch them out of the corner or cancel into her before you get to the corner and then you're good to go. All right, we're gonna move on from the level three Oki because I don't wanna talk about it for like forever. The next thing was actually the first thing I mentioned with most characters is if a character is gonna be a competent anchor and be able to actually play the game all on their own, they have to be able to actually competently play neutral. And she does more than just competently play neutral. She has ridiculously good normals so her jm is ridiculously big her 5m is huge too so she wins round start with this she wins round start with dive she has a key blast she has a beam she can angle it up her uh 2s which is her it looks like this when she hops up and down real quick this move is super duper plus so you can actually challenge people afterwards and she recovers really quick like in neutral if they block it for example you're plus six this move is wild, and a lot of the time, if someone wants to super dash you when they see this, you can pretty much always 2-H it. And if you don't think you can 2-H it, you can pretty much always level 3. As long as they pass through the Key Blast, you can cancel. 
So that's the same way it works with like Super Saiyan Vegeta where he does like air key blasts and you super dash at him and he just DPs you, right? But she can also do this with pretty much every stock she has, which is going to give her a good combo. So three out of four of her air steals are going to do this. She gets uh, different sets depending on the character she does, but three out of four of them is the main thing is going to be able to punish this. So she has Solar Flare, Sticky Energy Blast. This one is wild. This one is actually frame one upper body invincible and it's a really good starter. So super, super good. And then the barrier as well. And most people don't block there. If you do it fast enough, it is actually a punish, but it's kind of hard. So there we go. If you watch Sonic Fox play this character, they are super, super good at doing that. And the only one that doesn't work this way is Sonic Warp, uh, the teleport. So you aren't going to like react to a super dash with this which kind of sucks, but you could still always try to like snipe it with JM or something, but I think that's kind of hard. Realistically, you're going to level three or you're going to use one of her stocks. Yellow stock command grab is, is crazy. The only thing that's not actually perfect with it is, so she has like a ground version of everything and an air version of everything. So you got to kind of have to keep track of what she has, but the ground version and the air version are frame one upper body invincibility. So if someone safe jumps you, you can literally just do this on wake up. It doesn't hit crouching, but it hits standing and you can cancel it on whiff. So on wake up, you pretty much just do this cancel. If you got the hit, you're going to kill him. If you didn't get the hit, probably able to like escape or, you know, fly away. The stock that you get with sticky energy blast is the consecutive energy. So this is actually pretty good because it makes getting away not too hard. It like actually whiff punishes is you can cancel her stocks into each other. You just literally mash S afterwards. And if someone actually ducks under the grab, this is gonna low crush whatever they're hitting that's like a low. And then you get a combo. And it's like actually a really, really good starter. Anyway, we were talking about neutral. That's actually why we brought this up, just because this is a really good anti-super dash tool. And she has good key blasts. And she has really good normals on the ground. Her 5M is nuts. Her JM is nuts. Her ability to air to air you is just actually wild so if someone's super jumping around and you want to chase them down like it's really hard to do this with like a solo character like how do you chase someone who's super jumping around and just kind of blocking with her you can actually just get up to their height and as long as you can get within like i don't know like four feet of them or like five feet of them you can just make a block and if you have stocks you can cancel into something that is actually going to win a scramble afterwards if you aren't able to make them block and go all the way down amped up can amped up guilty gear character i'm not sure exactly what that necessarily means but but she's fun so uh that's the first checkbox can she actually win neutral on her own second checkbox is just going to be can she actually pressure you and mix up on her own and the answer is like uh, yeah they keep buffing her command grab so if you don't have stocks it's replaced with the command grab. If you hit with it, you get the stock, obviously. So the command grab is pretty good. It's 24 frames, which is definitely reactable, but I feel like this is actually really hard to react to consistently, especially if someone's structuring their pressure well. 2S is plus on block even when you're in, so you literally just do this and air dash back in. And even if they reflect, you can do a reflect proof string really easily. So all you do is dash into M afterwards and you're back in. Or you just bait it and kill him with 5M, which is like an amazing starter. 21 on point is definitely still relevant. Um, it's just that she fits the anchor rule really well and her assist still works for a lot of the really good characters right now. So she can reset pressure really well. Her staggers are pretty good. Her damage is pretty good because she can rejump super, super easily. She has definitely one of the better ones in the game. And she can choose what size she wants to go. So she can always get the good mid-screen uh, level 3 Oki, which is really nice. And then her left-right mix-up is ridiculously good. Her cross-up M is, I believe, exactly the same speed as Kid Buu's cross-up Key Blast. I think everyone will agree that this is a very, very, very quick mix-up. This mix-up is super fast. In fact, actually, it says this is 12 frames startup after hitting the button after crossing over the other person. So it took 12 frames for that key blast to hit a crouching opponent as a cross up after hitting the button anyways, it's probably like 20 frames total. Hers, if it hits like early on, is between 10 to 12, depending on how you time the M. This is literally faster than Kid Boo's J JS in a lot of these situations. Super, super good left, right mix up and really good conversions from it too. So good stagger, good pressure, good conversions. She can reflect proof relatively easily. EX ball, as we mentioned earlier, is like plus on block and reflect proof if you cancel into it, which is wild. Mix up is good on her own. Her neutral is good on her own. Level three knockdown is good on her own. 
So that's all wild. And I don't think damage is super important for an anchor, actually, but it is nice. So she's got definitely above average conversions, above average flexibility in how she ends her combos. She doesn't have like a sliding knockdown on her own, but she can pretty much always get to the corner if she wants. And if she's in the anchor spot, especially with limit break, giving you free meter, you know, that's not too big of an issue. You're probably going to have meter if you've been getting dumped on and you're playing solo 21. I think another reason that a lot of the top tier players, Sonic Fox to Kill Sage, are picking up 21 is just because she fits this role that we're talking about that it really only felt like a handful of characters did before, while also being more fun, I guess. To Kill Sage actually put out a video recently that I think you guys should watch, like why he switched teams, why he's playing different team instead of Broly right now. Although that might change again because they did just announce that they're going to nerf Roshi a little bit. I don't know if he's going to stick with them after that. But one of his reasons, and I definitely agree with this, is just that that Broly gets kind of, um, I don't really know what the word is. He, he doesn't encourage you to keep learning. He can always win, right? His neutral is very simple. Key blasts are very good. Things like EX into like level three is just gonna like obliterate an opponent if you're by yourself. He has 50-50s without really thinking about it. You just literally light grab, which is unreactable. He doesn't encourage you to really continue improving in the same way that some other characters do. So I think a lot of people who play him for too long just kind of feel stagnant. And I definitely feel that way whenever I play him. I have fun playing Broly. I think Z Broly is fun, but at some point I, I honestly feel like I stop improving when I play him. Like I, I improve with him for like two weeks. I get creative with him for two weeks and then I'm just like, eh, I can always win. I don't think about it. But 21 has like a lot to learn. You know, you have like optimal combos, you have steals. So every matchup feels a little bit different and you get to figure out like what the optimal way of using a lot of these options are. You just kind of get to have a character that can still win on their own and kind of stay fresher, I guess. Keep that like learning process going. Yeah, too easy is definitely a problem. I, I think like quality of life and being an easy thing, an easy character to play is always a good thing. But at some point, if you're trying to keep improving as a player, sometimes you need to mix it up a little bit. One of has got a lot of style and creativity with her. She's also just super fun. I feel like when I'm playing her, I feel like I'm playing Mitsuru again from Persona, you know? Stream's good now. Thanks, guys. The only anchors people have really agreed on have as being incredibly, incredibly stupid is basically just Broly and base Goku because their mix-up is kind of just you run at them, command grab. That's 50-50. Whether you command grab or frame trap, that's all you got to do. Not playing that way is fun. I think it's fun. I think a lot of people think it's fun. Plus, cross-ups are fun. Having to do stuff like same side super dash is fun. And when you get people worried about these things and you're willing to like overhead and DR, you can just do like grab grab get away with it which converts really well so i guess the tldr and like why you choose her over a character that also checks all the boxes we've talked about is that if those characters aren't motivating for you to actually improve at the game then uh you're gonna actually get more out of a character that does and sometimes playing a weaker character does that for people whether it's your point character your mid character your anchor it doesn't matter someone who has a lot of fun with a character like nappa or blue vegeta or goku black even is going to be more motivated to improve than someone who's playing a top tier they absolutely hate. My advice if you're worried about who you should be picking in any slot on a team is literally just pick the best character that you think you would enjoy enough to improve, right? If you can't figure out who to fit in a slot. Pick a fun tier, yeah. Sometimes your favorite character literally is too weak to improve. Like if they're literally a joke character, then yeah, don't pick them. But I don't really think there's any characters like that in DBFC. The only thing I can think of is like maybe there's matchups where you literally need a reflect and Videl doesn't have a reflect. But even someone like Goku Black is good enough to be like a top five or top 10 player in an entire side of a country. Like Axis is probably a top 10 player on the East Coast of the US and he's playing 17 Goku Black. So I guess the wrap up is she fits the role of anchor really well. Her level three is broken, <laughs> super, super good. She also has an air level three. Her neutral's ridiculous. She can react to stuff like super dash. Her stocks are super good. Her mix up's good and her neutral's good. She can play every stage of the match all on her own reasonably well.